All right, folks, so more and more, it looks like the more destructive parts of President Biden's high taxes, uh, at least his dream of higher taxes, are beginning to fade. So uh, what's happening now is they're starting to hear about the other tool that he might employ toward fundamentally changing the United States, and that's executive orders and regulations. Now, last month, the White House released its goals in a memo that was titled, an agenda to continue empowering a robust and equitable econo economic recovery. Now, part of the goal, they say, is to empower federal agencies so, that, so they could take on protect health and safety. Uh, they want to support a robust economy, uh, or economic recovery, rather, that strengthens the middle class, advance equity, confront the climate crisis, build a fair, orderly, and humane immigration system. Well, now the wheels are in motion, and they began today. We're hearing about the, the administration going after railroads, ocean shipping, mortgage banks. I'm going to bring in Cutlow host Larry Cutlow to join me now. Larry, you know, the timing of this ocean stuff is really nuts to me. You consider it's a global market being driven up by higher shipping and container costs around the world. And the irony is it's cheaper to ship something out of America to other parts of the world than here. But my big question for you is how would this help the middle class? Well, it's not going to help the middle class. It's not going to help anybody. I mean, we have all talked about the pandemic supply chain problem and supply chain recoveries have been slow. Now, the ports of L.A. and, and Long Beach and some other big ports are starting to clear up, Charles. But why would you want to clamp down on shipping prices, for example? You know, that, that if you let them go, they'll spur more deliveries and faster deliveries. And by the same token, they will, you know, let's let people go to work without having a $300 plus up in the unemployment rate. So these are regular. Look, Biden's got between the Green New Deal, uh, between antitrust. I mean, he's got a whole executive order, which was sweeping regulations for the entire economy on antitrust grounds, which is maybe what this shipping business is all about. And then let's not forget health care. They want to expand Obamacare. They want to expand Medicare, Medicaid. That means regulating the uh, health care system. And as you noted, they also have big plans, whether it's global warming or whatever, to regulate the financial system. So this is the biggest regulatory assault we have seen since the 1970s, OK? Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan took down regulations. Right. Bill Clinton took down some regulations. Donald Trump took down a lot of regulations. Uh, Joe Biden is uh, raising regulatory barriers, the likes of which we haven't seen in um, 45 years. Larry, I got just a couple of minutes, but I do want to get this in. You just mentioned Jimmy Carter. Uh, this administration wants to add muscle to the Community Reinvestment Act that goes back to 1977. They're specifically now looking to widen the net of what it covers, including mortgage banks like Quicken. And the irony of this is Quicken Loans has a much better track record to lending to low and middle income folks than most banks do. Right. So again, I ask you, how will this help the average American buy a house if they start to clamp down on this? Well, don't forget now, all this housing affordability stuff is going to get us back into trouble using Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to direct those uh, profits and resources. People who can't afford it may think they can afford it until all of a sudden the day comes that they cannot afford it. We don't check income. We don't check job records. That's uh, potentially an instant replay of what we had in the um, early 2000s that preceded the housing crash. These are government interventions in the marketplace, Charles. You know, um, the great hopes of the government turn sour. The consequences of government never turn out the way you hope they're going to turn out. You're seeing it right now in gasoline prices. I just want to throw this in. This is a regulatory problem, okay? Things like the um, little prairie chicken or whatever it's called, and, you know, stopping drilling in Texas, telling Saudi right. Arabia and Russia and OPEC, you guys can drill and produce more oil supplies, and telling our people, uh, whether it's the Keystone Pipeline or Anwar or whatever, telling our people you can't drill. So, gasoline prices, they're at least a dollar higher than they ought to be. We haven't picked up drilling. That's a regulatory problem because they're all fearful. There's a chill over the entire energy industry, and the smaller business frackers are getting clobbered on this. And on top of yeah. that, they want to jack up corporate taxes just to make it even harder. Yeah. So how's this yeah. help? This it's, doesn't it's, help any class, middle class, lower class, no, upper it class. This doesn't help any class. It this doesn't. helps the dumb yeah, people I, I, in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, I love having these conversations with you, my man. And folks, make sure, I, I'm, I know you already do, but if you don't, you've got to catch Cutlow every weekday.
4 and 7 p.m. Eastern Time. It's so good they play it twice right here on Fox Business. Thanks, See you Josh. soon, Larry.